Thanks so much for visiting Teen and Buddy on YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello, and welcome to the Tea and a Buddy podcast. I'm Dominic. And I'm Erica. Today's episode is going to be the start of a little series we're going to do, actually. Yeah. Places we want to go. In the UK. Well, in the in the UK, <laughs> yes. But I mean, the whole, the, the, the bigger series will be places we want to go around the world. Yeah. But places we want to go in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. We were recently we're asked. We're kicking by... off with that since, you know, the UK and we know it and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of places <laughs> in the UK we want to go. And there's a yeah, lot of places a lot in of America places. we want to go too, which should be easy enough, but. <laughs> I was going, we could actually call it places we want to go in England. And then places we want to go in Wales, and then places we want to go in Scotland. Yeah. I mean, if you guys will be interested in that, so. Yeah. And if it... you're not, well, we're just going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we might just do, like, a one-off of, like, bucket list type places. Bucket we list, you hate go. that term. I, I hate the term bucket list, I really do. Yeah, I, I don't not, know why, I just despise it. <laughs> it's it's not a really good, it's, um, oh, there was another term for it, I can't remember what it was now. Yeah, it, it, not, not things to do before I die, but it was... It well, was, that, it was, that, that's that's it. what a, That's yeah. what a bucket list is, but there was another, a better term, you know. Um, But that is, I think, I think a one-off episode, like, maybe, like, top five places around the world or something. Top five places yeah. around the world. We, we were, we were recently, the, what inspired this was that we were suggested it by one of our listeners yeah one of our listeners suggested this spring yeah. breeze to you yeah spring breeze shout to you. out to spring breeze to you <laughs> shout out to spring breeze to you she's, spring breeze to me spring breeze to everyone she's so good she's so great you guys it, yeah she, she's quite possibly the she only a person lot. listening to us <laughs> her and jasmine and <laughs> yeah. there's a couple of other people as well yeah, but we just love the feedback, you guys. We love knowing that you guys are listening and we're not just... I mean, because Dominic, as we always say, you know, Dominic and I have these discussions just lying in bed at night, you know? Is anyone <laughs> listening to us? Who's listening to us? Where are they listening to us? Yeah. How are they listening to us? <laughs> yeah, so we love, like, getting messages and comments and all of that kind of stuff from you guys letting us know what you thought about the episode. You know, you can also tell us if you thought the episode sucked we want to know that too yeah if you say oh well this what this guys this wasn't a really great episode and uh and, and i understand if you think oh i'd never say that to anyone but really we won't be going oh well you know we'll go oh really oh what what do you Ooh, mean might, yeah. might not yeah oh you what might, do you mean what did you not like about it or the whole yeah. thing <laughs> you were terrible <laughs> and and you know it we can be honest here and say that um, it may or may not influence whether we do another episode of that sort. Because, yeah. You know, sometimes we just want to talk about things we want to talk about, you know. Because, you know, like... on this podcast, we're gearing up to renovate an RV. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like that's what everyone's doing. Everyone on YouTube is doing that now. So <laughs> literally let's jump, everyone. Let's li literally jump on the RV bandwagon. That, that'll make for some riveting yeah. listening. <laughs> we're not. We're not really renovating an RV. You know. I mean. I wish we were, though. Actually, it sounds so fun. That, in this heat. Well, no. In Texas, in summer. God, everything would melt by the time. Uh, we I mean, wouldn't have to worry about rain. <laughs> well, you say that, but well. we just we had a couple of spells of rain <laughs> yeah. recently. Dark days. But anyway. Dark days, everybody. Anyway, back on track. <laughs> back, back on topic. Getting back on topic. Um, this is uh, places we want to go in the UK. In the UK, yeah. The Great Britain. We thought this would be fun. There's so many places that we have not been. Yeah, we've, we, I mean, I, I've only taken Erica to a few, a handful. So we can only talk about... Not even a handful. Maybe like a pinch <laughs> so when we talk about these places in this in this series in today's episode and then in the series going forward you need to know that we have not been to these places so all the information that we've gotten is from youtube videos or like travel shows that we've seen on the television what we've heard what we've heard about them what we've read online and maybe um, we'll inspire you to want to go there too. pictures we've seen on instagram you know all of that kind of thing 
uh, and that is why we want to go. And we're just going to talk about why we want to go, what it looks like, you know, what yeah. we hope to see there, you know, all of that yeah. kind of stuff. I mean, the first episode, I mean, the first place that sprung to mind when I was thinking of places we want to go in the UK mm-hmm. was, as Rick Steves calls it, the Catswalls. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> I don't remember that. You, people on PBS will know, or people who watch PBS <laughs> will know Rick Steves' travels around the world in his yeah. little, the cat's world. He's got books. He's got books. You know, his books, when I first was was studying up to go to Britain. You 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 did the well, Rick they Steves have, They have tour. the Frommers, the Frommers guides. The Frommers on, guide, yeah. Yeah, they have those, and then they have Rick Steves' guides, and those are like the two most popular kind of guidebooks you yeah, can get yeah, if yeah. you want to like study up on a place but yeah also there's a little thing called the internet but <laughs> well the internet kind of put pay to all that but you know like before the internet those people were like the only source of information about that place yeah you know it's like oh um rick steves has been to the Catswolds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he thinks about it. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, you know, now the internet, everyone, TripAdvisor, you know, you've got a, a whole bunch of people who've been there saying, nah, don't like it. Yeah. Don't rate it at all. Don't go, don't there. go there. Don't bother going don't there. Don't go there. They don't even have a McDonald's. What's going on? And someone goes, oh, what are you talking about? I go there specifically because they don't have a McDonald's, yeah. you know. And, you so know, what... you've, you've got a bunch of conflicting opinions. Yeah. The internet, everybody. <laughs> so what exactly is the Cotswolds, Dominic? Well, the Cotswolds, <laughs> it's an area of outstanding natural beauty oh, since no. 1966. Oh no, not one of those again. <laughs> That's kind of like, what do you call them over here? Just national parks. National parks. Park. <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 not, it's not really a national park. No, though, this because... goes along with everything, just once again... In Britain, everything has got to be cute. It's got to have, like, a really cute name. How is oh, Area in- of Outstanding Natural <laughs> Beauty a cute name? Because you're calling it Outstanding nat- Natural Beauty. You know, and then they shorten it to... A-O-N-B. <laughs> yes. Well, it's just an acronym, isn't it? So it's just... Yeah. A-O-N-B, you know. Oh, that's a, a, the, the Cotswolds area. The Quantox is an A-O-N-B. Oh, oh, you know, we were looking at a map one time, and Dominic's like, oh, yeah, that this and, and this is an area of outstanding natural beauty. And I thought he was just, like... Saying I thought, that. Yeah, I thought he was being poetic. You know? But I said it again. It says, well, the Cotswolds <laughs> is in an area of an out- outstanding natural beauty. Yes. And as, and we were watching a Peep Show, and they go to this area in j- just... I think it's in Somerset, actually, called the Quantox, the Quantock Hills. And I said, yeah, it's an AONB. And and you were like, what's an AONB? And I said, it's an area of outstanding natural beauty. <laughs> and you were like, well, that's an actual name. That's an actual, what they call it. I said, yeah, yes, it is. It is. It's a name. It's what they actually call it. But yeah, the Cotswolds. <laughs> Which is an area of outstanding natural beauty. <laughs> but it's not like, you know, we're equating it to um, a national park in America. Something but it's that's not been, a park, is it? Something that's been preserved and, you know, it's relatively untouched. It's not a national park, no, but national parks like the Lake District and the Peak District. The, this would om- the Cots- And Snowdonia, I'd, I'd say they were like more AOMB. Equivalent, more yeah. equivalent to a national park, yeah. though, yeah. The Cotswolds is actually... It's a district. Yeah. And it spans... Towns, villages. It spans six counties in England, which... Um, which are Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire, Somerset, Wiltshire, Warwickshire, and Worcestershire. Wow. I didn't realize it was that large of an area. It's co- it, yeah. Uh, well, really, I don't. I cannot remember now where I first heard of the Cotswolds. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know. Um, but I... Oh, you saw pictures. Originally, I thought it was just like... And that's what you I thought, thought it was England a was village. going to be. I thought the Cotswolds was a village in England, you know? Yeah, it and does sound like, oh, it's the Cotswolds, it, like, yeah. That's where they live, you know? Oh, oh, they live in the or Cotswolds. Or it might be a county, yeah. Oh, they live in the Cotswolds, don't they? Yeah. It's like a, it's a district in, in Britain, but it's it spans six counties and some of the best parts. It's like, it's the country, basically. It's it's the English countryside. It's more... As everybody thinks of yeah. England, you know, like the old kind of the styled old, houses, old, ki- old timey houses with thatched roofs, with thatched roofs yeah. and stone. Mm-hmm. Um, some of which have been standing since Elizabethan times. Some of even older than that, like Stone Age. 
You yeah. Know? So it's more equivalent to like a World Heritage Site, isn't it? Because um, it's like they're not they're not reproductions. These buildings. They're not. They're... Well, yeah. So it's. I think it. Well, I don't know if it's a World Heritage Site per se, but it's definitely they've got like listed buildings all over the place. Yeah. Because they're so. If you old. don't know what a listed building is, then you didn't listen to our previous podcast. Was it our previous one? Uh, it was last week. Sometime. Last week. Anyway. Sometime. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, listed buildings. Everything's like. You know, and people still live there, tiny country lanes and, you know, it's just, as you said, you know, we were talking about um, Better Sequoid and everything. Mm, mm-hmm. You're like, oh, this is how this is how I thought Britain was supposed to look. It's like, <laughs> well, that that is how they've kept it. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But it's, it's, and it's, it's for tourists and everything, but it's, it's just for, you know, just to preserve the, the, the English way of life, you could yeah. say. Of days gone by. Streets. Cobblestone streets. That's not unique to the Cotswolds, though, is it? I mean, you can no. find that in certain mostly parts of up London, in, even. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and mostly up north. Oh, yeah. They got back lanes and cobblestone stuff and all that, you know. Cobblestone stuff. I mean, the most famous cobblestone street, I think, in Britain is Coronation Street, and I don't. You know, that's that's a soap opera. I was going to say, that's not a real place. Though, but it's got cobbles, you know. It's like, that's what they always say. Oh, the drama that goes on on the cobblestones, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's an area of outstanding natural beauty, in yeah. case you didn't know. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's one of the most phot- photographed corners of the UK. I mean, as you, as you were saying, you know, that's, oh, I can't remember where I heard of it. You've, you've seen it. Yeah. Everywhere you go. Yeah. Like Castle Coombe. It looks like a storybook village, like yeah. I mean, know. but it's you. You'd think it was all the same village because it kind of looks. They all look similar. Yeah. But there's several different villages. I think the most famous is Castle Coombe. Yeah. Which has a little bridge over a stream and everything yeah. like that, and it's like a little you know. All just the looks... Instagrammers have had their picture there. Oh yeah, and I mean, <laughs> Doctor Doolittle was filmed there in 1967. Oh yeah. Uh, with Rex Harrison. I mean, it's perfect for a film set, isn't it? I imagine a it's, load of things have been yeah, filmed. Yeah, more recently, time. Downton Abbey. Oh, obviously. Okay. Downton Abbey's f- been filmed there. Um, yeah, the, the 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 locals hated the the production of Doctor Doolittle and wanted to like <laughs> sabotage it and everything. <laughs> what? They just didn't want them being there, you know, <laughs> basically. And it's a really expensive area to oh, live in. Oh, isn't it's it? hugely expensive, <laughs> yeah. and that's and in Tetbury. Which is another village, um, mainly because Highgrove is nearby, and that's Prince Charles's family estate, oh. and he lives there a lot of the time, as oh, far yeah. as I know. Yeah, because yeah. apparently he's been seen in and around Tetbury, you know. Oh yeah. You know, getting groceries and whatever, you know. <laughs> getting groceries. And he has to walk home with them too. <laughs> with his mask. With his mask on. <laughs> he's like, bloody Camilla wouldn't come with me, would she? <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, no, it's it's you know Downton Abbey's filmed in like Tetbury and Castle Coombe and all that. Not not Downton Abbey, but when they go into town. When they mean? go into like a town, yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the top attractions, I think, though, on those kind of things are like walks with hawks is one of them, <laughs> which I, I I want to take you on. Walks with hawks. Yeah, it's in Cheltenham, which is in Gloucester. This is another one of the towns of, you know, in the in the area of outstanding natural beauty. And, you know, you get to experience falconry. Oh, yeah. And, you know, owls, which you've only recently become obsessed with, haven't you? Well, no, I've been obsessed with owls for a long time. Well, <laughs> no, that's not true because I think you before that it was penguins. Oh. And then you got bored of penguins and got onto owls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, one day you woke up, you were just like, who cares about them? Anymore? Penguins, uh, just penguins are out. Now. Penguins are out now. Owls are the thing now. Owls are what I'm into <laughs> now. And you know, you get to like handle them and everything, and you get to oh walk in them. You so know, little baby ones and the big ones and yeah. the the ones that look like owl from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and they've got a Cotswolds distillery which makes gin and whiskey. Okay, yeah. You know, like which is expensive. Yeah. You know, that's in the village of Stourton. Yeah, all these villages, to me, c- growing up, they were kind of like school trips, which we'll talk about in a later podcast, because I don't think we've talked about school no, trips. No, we yet, haven't, they, no. They, they're very school trippish to me. You know, when I, <laughs> when I think of them, when I see pictures, I'm thinking... I'm sure I went there on a school trip when I, in year six or something like that. You know, I'm sure I went to the Cotswolds or something. Yeah. But it was actually just in Devon. 
you know, it was just some little village in like Devon that I went to that was that looked like that too, you know, because I mean, there's places all over the UK that look like the Cotswolds, but the Cotswolds is kind of like the More most compact, compact or... or yeah, you know, it's I mean, some of the best parts of Oxfordshire is in there. Oxfordshire is like I didn't realize oh, Oxfordshire yeah. was part of the Cotswolds. Yeah, I think it's. I thought the Cotswolds was more like this direction, like closer to Wales. It, yeah, it stretches to Bristol. Yeah. I think it just stops before Stratford upon Avon, oh. which is Shakespeare's stomping ground. Yeah. Birthplace. Was it? No. Was he born in Stratford upon Avon? Yeah. Or yeah. do you, I thought he just lived there? No, I think um, that's where he was born. Yeah, so, you know, it was just there. And then I think it goes... And, I mean, it's a day trip from London, the Cotswolds. Yeah. You know, because it includes, like, Bath and all that yeah. kind of stuff are there. I mean, like, we. I don't think there's a lot to do. You know there's a I lot mean? to do. I mean, there's a lot there's, there's there's attraction. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to see. If you're into history, yeah. uh, architecture, you know, st- ancient architecture mm. and... Just quaint little English villages. It's like, I want to see quaint little English villages. Right. Uh, castles, and you know, like how England right. looks on PBS. It's going to be, it's going to be like equivalent to going to Stonehenge. You're just going to be walking around taking pictures mostly. You, you're going to be walking around taking pictures and being all like, oh, this there's is probably so like quaint. Little, there's probably like little shops you can go in though, I would imagine. Oh yeah, there's there's so many, there's so many if of them. In you spend a fortune. There's pubs, <laughs> you know, like the, the Snooty Fox in Tetbury and, <laughs> and you know, like the Red Lion and all them kind of places. You I, know, like, I have heard though, if you want to stop for food... You know, even just like a sandwich and a drink in a the sandwich Cotswolds. In this, a like sandwich a, and a drink in the Cotswolds would probably set you back about 15 quid. I was going to say 17 pounds, I think. Probably like t- that. 20 quid, maybe. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're not, we're not exactly quoting a price there, but it's in the ra- that price range, you know, it's not. Because, I mean, they're so far away, because everything's so, you're so far away from like a big thing like Tesco's or Asda shopping parks and all that kind of stuff any kind of modernization Mm -hmm. it's like you've stepped back in time yeah you've got the old tight tiny streets and you're like we're watching and drive through an old like english village Uh on one of our vlogs Uh, and they were like oh you know have to have to pull over have to go here you know yeah and it's just like yeah it's very tiny you know it's it's i think you can i think you can look on youtube i'm sure we've seen someone drive through the cotswolds oh yeah there's there's it's def- just like a drive through you know it's just some guy and that's what he does is just drives around britain yeah and just films his drives and i'm i'm sure we watched like a long drive through the cotswolds and, yeah yeah and i mean it's just like fields Little villages, stone walls, and you're just like, oh, you know, it's like, I should be riding a horse. Right, you know? yeah. Should be riding a horse in my tricorner hat, you you'd know. Prob- you'd probably feel better because the streets are so narrow. It's just They're so like... narrow. They're, 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 well, they're well maintained. I mean, just... Amazing. But they're really maintained. only wide enough for one car. <laughs> one car, yeah. You, you, it's 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 a nightmare driving to the Cotswolds. I'd I'd recommend, you know, maybe driving just outside or you know just because I mean I can imagine parking is a nightmare there. Yeah. Because there's like nowhere to park because it's like all just old buildings. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. You should have brought your horse, mate. You know. It's, Dominic and I have watched the show. Of- that's come on over time in Britain. That's like, um, actually, it's not one particular show. They just do a lot of these live, living history uh, shows. Oh, back in time. Well, I was. That's what I was thinking of, but it wasn't. It was like one of those things where people go back and like live in the Victorian age, or maybe even oh, the medieval. I, I kind of think they live yeah, like they're and in the they medieval. had a bunch of celebrities doing it. Maybe. Well, British celebrities. Yeah. Um, Quasi celebrities. <laughs> they, they, they were on the verge of being has beens. I mean, to be well, fair. like all of these celebrities, like all of these celebrities, <laughs> like, you know, they were on the verge of being has beens. They, they they were famous like ten or fifteen years ago. You know, like they were big. But they're still a, a big enough name that they'll they'll sign up for this kind of thing. That yeah, it was like medieval, wasn't it? Living like living like they were in f- for the week or something. Like it they was were for in a medieval. week, and they were living medievally. Yeah, I think Anne Widdicombe was one of them. She's an old. Well, politician. they did one that was like medieval, and they did one that was like Victorian. But the medieval one, I'm thinking, it must have been. They must have been somewhere in the Cotswolds. Yeah, they were. 
in the Stone Age. Yeah, it was it was maybe Tetbury, even. Yeah. Because I think there's like a working kind of like living history museum there. And, oh you know, yeah. You can go and do it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's like open all year round or. Oh yeah. You know, if it's just one of those things that they it's... set up, you know. Because, I mean, you know, it's like the Heritage Village in Dallas. You know, people dress up and they, they do stuff. I love that kind of thing. I'm, but like, do, such a they, nerd for that. But they do thing. they do that. They definitely do that in the Cotswolds. You know, they have the old-time shop with the P and the E and oh, the Oh, well, N. there you go, then. And, you know, like, someone selling humbugs and, you know, like, Victorian... Humbugs? You know? Yeah, humbugs. What's yeah. a humbug? It's a sweet. Oh, my God. You didn't know a humbug was a sweet. Humbug. Bar humbug. Yeah, bar humbug, you know, because it's just, you know... Humbugs are a sweet, like an old timey <laughs> sweet. Anyway, anyway, there's an um. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Chavanage House in Tetbury. Okay, it's a country manor house dating from the late 16th century, and it was oh. Elizabethan. So that's Elizabeth the first, not the second. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> and it was built in 1576. Wow. And, and it's still standing? And it's, construct, it's constructed of Cotswold stone, which I think, I guess, it's like stone the, from the area, you know, yeah. whatever, you know. Well, when you said they, they couldn't all carry look, it very, very far, I guess. You know, well, when like, you said all the, like, houses and buildings look the same, it's because they're made of that. Cotswold it's like stone. A, it's like a brownish kind of... It's like a, it's like a, I thought it was like a grayish, brownish kind of brick. Yeah. like It's a, a mellow looking brick, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it just looks very English. You know, weirdly enough. Yeah. And, and it's got a Cotswold stone tiled roof. Oliver Cromwell and his general God. stayed the, stayed in the house in 1648. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you're not sure who Oliver Cromwell is, he was uh, one of the key players in the English Civil War. Um, And there are some English Civil War relics on display in that house because you can tour it too. Oh, wow. Yeah. I would love to do that. And you that can have again. your wedding there. <laughs> Okay, well, and and you you I'll may keep that in mind you, for the next one. <laughs> you may want to redo your wedding. Actually, when I tell you that it's been used as a filming location for about every period drama that's come out of the UK. Oh, really? So yeah, if you watch PBS and you watch period dramas, you've likely seen Chavinich House. Most famous, though, I think as Tren with in Paul Dark. Oh my god, so you're telling me And they filmed Turner's inside. Been in there. <laughs> yeah, he's been inside and he's been around the house. You know, it's just like that's where um George um George <laughs> lived, you know, that was um an Elizabeth's house. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've got the driveway and everything and it looks you know, it's it looks like a movie set, but it's actually a house and they've yeah. gone in there and wood panelled walls, you know, and Everything, it's virtually untouched, and the, the guy who owns it now does a, does tours of it, obviously. Well, yeah. And he lets it out to the film. I think that's so great, you know. It's, it's such a great way to keep these old places going. It's to know. film a period drama with candles and... Well, no, that everybody know. wants to then come tour, and they have to pay yeah. to get in, you know. That's, because those, house, those old houses like that cost a fortune to upkeep, you know. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, well, in the Cotswolds, yeah, but I mean, when you when you've got like a film crew that's going to pay you to like show it on Paul Dark or whatever, yeah. you know, it's going to be even better, I think. Yeah, because I mean, you're going to get tourists from just that. Oh, Trend with. <laughs> Trend with. Uh, I know you like um, abbeys and cathedrals and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Tewkesbury Abbey. Is a former Benedictine monastery. Oh wow! It's in Tewkesbury, um, and it's one of the finest examples of Norman architecture in in Britain. So my so your my thing, ancestors built it. Then. Your ancestors, <laughs> yes, the Normans, the Normans, yes. <laughs> I mean, I think you. I, I I mean, I was never really into like churches and stuff because, for me, like an old church mm. was just something that was there. Yeah. For me, you know, it's just like, oh, it's the church, you know? Yeah. But to you, it's something like, oh, wow, that church. Because over here, they don't really have... I mean, in Texas, in the area that you grew up in... In the Panhandle. In the Panhandle, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Churches were not as grand as they are in Britain. Oh, you know? God, no. They they were more like... They're big. They were more like... uh, They they look more like a... um, What do they look like? Just a big, like shed 
Well, no. I mean, that's that. Those are the more modern ones. No, the oh, old, the, the older ones. The older they... ones I have. The older ones that we had in my town. They were they were big and they were made out of brick and stuff, you know. But they're they were just not as. But they just kind of looked plain. Yeah. Yeah, they looked fairly plain. I mean, because, you know, like when they, I, I don't know what they, what, what got into them when they were like building these, like, you know, Westminster Abbey or, you know, because the church had a lot of money. I mean, most of these were probably built by the Catholic church. It was the same type of thing as like building a castle, you know, like. It was just like, I has to, I, gr- more grand has to, look, yours, has to you know? look so great. Yeah, well, it's God's house, isn't it? You know, it's a Spires castle from God. and clocks. <laughs> Clocks. You know, they have like some of them have a clock tower and everything. Oh yeah, I guess they do in Britain. Yeah, parish churches anyway do. Yeah. Tewkesbury Abbey, yeah, it's like Norman architecture and mm. it's you know where's Tewkesbury? Um Gloucestershire. Okay. Um The Gloucestershire Warwickshire Steam Railway, which is something I definitely want to go on. <laughs> I think is one. Yeah. I mean, I'm very into trains. Yes. And you're very into trains. I like trains, yeah. And steam railway. I mean, steam is something I remember, like, just going away when I was a kid, small child. Because I, mem- I remember it was just, it wasn't a nationalized thing in Britain anymore. I think they, they kind of completely all but done it out in the, in, in the 80s. But really, I think... The um, the whole magical age of like steam and everything like that, st- steam railways and stuff mm. like that. I mean, I was very into trains. Like, I mean, all boys are and all kids are. I think you know, like get, yeah. get into trains and stuff. And I was really sad, you know, like because I think that's why she did it in Harry Potter. I was just thinking of Hogwarts, the Hogwarts, the Hogwarts Express. Express. <laughs> I mean, it's just because you know, like steam and the car and the and the carriages. You know, they had like big yeah you know, things, and you know, like. Traveling by rail, it used to be more luxurious. It was more glamorous. Yeah. I think, you know, it was definitely more glamorous. And now it's just and like... they just pack you in. You like pack sardines. you in and they ch- <laughs> overcharge you because, oh, train prices, train t- the price of a train ticket in Britain is astronomical. Yeah. I mean, you, you think, oh yeah, it's easy to travel by train in Britain. It's easy, but it's not cheap. It's easy and it's comfortable and yeah, but... Because, yeah. you know, like we, we were going to do it. We, yeah. we did it the first couple of times. I mean, you know, it's just like an electric diesel run trains now yeah. you know high speed and all that but it's probably my favorite way to travel it's my Britain. favorite way to travel and it's so funny to meet someone who's never been on a train like there's I, I know a lot of people over here who've never been on one you know yeah it's just like well you know i know a few people who've never been like oh never been on a train i've never <laughs> known that train life you know <laughs> yeah not be not not a part of my train life you know but yeah and there's a Gloucester Cathedral in Gloucester. Oh, which yeah. Which is another massive yeah. um, thing. And the Royal Gardens at Highgrove in Tetbury oh. are available to tour, which is Prince Charles's residence. Well, see, it sounds like a fabulous little place. And these are some of the reasons why we Yeah, these are there. some <laughs> of the reasons we want to go there. Because I think the Cotswolds, I mean, as I say, it's, it, it's, it's very, you know, you say it's the UK, but it's very English. Yeah. It's very English, I find. You know, you, you're not going to find this in, like, You're not going to find that or, type of village or, uh, up in Scotland. <laughs> or in Scotland. I mean, you're going to find a different vibe, I think. Yeah. It's going to look maybe the same sort of thing, but, like, in the Highlands. I don't know. I, I'll have to look. Well, when we do our uh, places we want to go in Scotland, uh, <laughs> I'll look it up and, and see where the best places to go. Because, I mean, as, I, as a kid, I remember the Highlands being absolutely like wow you know yeah mountains and then flat plains and then water yeah water everywhere in maybe Scotland. when we're finally able to travel again we'll make like a companion video that will go with this and we'll like go okay now we used to want to go here and now we're going here in yeah the video <laughs> you know, like I want to go we'll here like take it off the list places we want to go places we are going <laughs> <laughs> finally <laughs> i think yeah i mean that i mean we're gonna we're gonna move into video at some point so you can we see keep, our faces we keep threatening that but uh <laughs> no no what they're gonna see is they're not gonna see our heads they're just gonna see our torsos you know just like <laughs> just talking you know <laughs> our feet you know our feet. <laughs> put it on our feet put it on our feet we'll just talk like hello <laughs> i'm sure people have done youtube videos of that <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, Some people might enjoy that, actually. <laughs> Apparently. All right, we got to go. We've got to go. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know um, some of the places you want to go around the UK, whether it's England, Scotland, Wales, yes. Ireland, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, wherever. Um, and if it's not some place that we were already considering talking about, we'll look into it and maybe we'll talk about yes. your place. Yeah. Um, we're, we're accepting submissions for places you want to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll put your place on our list. We'll go we'll, there we'll, for you. We'll go there for you and we'll, <laughs> you can live vicariously through us. Oh, God. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Yep. As always, we appreciate your support. Hope you enjoyed this episode and we will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.